So we're going to need some glad wrap, some paper tape, a pen, some scissors, the reference for whatever armor you're doing. I'm doing Katarina, your craft foam, a heat gun, or alternatively you could use a stove or a bar heater. They also work great. Some pins, glue, and if you're a woman, you're going to need a ball that's similar in size to your boobs. Okay, so you're going to ideally want to wear the same bra that you plan on using for the actual cosplay to make this now. That way it's going to fit you perfectly on the day. So the first step is going to be making your pattern for the armor. You're going to need your cling film for this and you're going to wrap yourself up in it. Once that's done, you're going to take your paper tape and you're going to pull strips off of it. You don't want to pull the tape around yourself because that might constrict and then you won't get the proper dimensions of the armor. And you're just going to put the tape everywhere it needs to be, everywhere your armor is covering. Okay, so once everything's covered up and all the tape is everywhere, you're going to take your reference and you're going to draw onto the tape in the shape of the breastplate. So once you're done drawing everything on and you're happy with how it looks, you just need to cut yourself out and then you can cut your pattern out. This is what the pattern looks like now. I'll cut out. Everything's good. Everything fits fine. So now you're going to cut out the pieces. I'm just going to cut out these cups and then we're going to lay them on the foam and draw them out. So my pattern now looks like this as one piece and then these two pieces. Okay, so we're going to take this chest piece and we're going to lay it onto the foam. And then you are going to trace around it with your pin. Okay, so there it is. Now you're going to cut this out And there we have it, our first craft foam piece that fits around your chest. For the rounded pieces, you're going to need your sphere and whatever you're using to heat the craft foam up with. So you're going to put it on, use your pattern as well, just to see the size and length. And then you're going to draw a square. Now you're going to cut the square out. Okay, so we're going to use the ball to shape the square. You're going to take your craft room and you're going to heat it up. You're going to take your ball and start to form. And it's already starting to take shape. And you're going to take your pattern, and you're going to place it over, and you're going to trace around the sphere, around the pattern. Then you're going to cut it out. Here we go. Rounded breastplate piece. If some of the edges aren't as round as you want them, 
um, you can go back and do it again. Just round them out again. And you're going to do it again for the next one. So now that we have all these pieces, we're going to stick them together. This is where your pins and your glue is going to come in handy. Let's do it. So we're going to take our kit piece and the two cups and we're going to stick them together using the pins and the glue. I'm going to use hot glue because um, it just works faster, but you can use normal glue, it's fine. So just make sure that they're the right way up. And then you just stick them together. Also make sure that they're the right side. Okay, the last step is going to be to mold these wings here. You just need to um, form them so that they're rounded. You can do that around a dress form or yourself. This isn't really necessary, um, it's just helpful. You know, I mean, I'm just gonna attach some lace corseting on the back of these here, um, and that's how it's gonna stay on. But uh, otherwise, this is done, and your base of your breastplate is finished. You can add whatever detailing you like. Um, I mean, I made my Queen of Pain breastplate this way, my Terra breastplate this way. So go crazy. I hope it was helpful. Bye, guys.